The success rate of marriage is low as it is, so the chances of a couple from MAFS staying together in 2022 shows you miracles do happen. This is the most extreme way to try to find love. Martha Califaditis and Michael Brunelli. There was an instant connection between Michael and Martha, admitting he struck gold when he saw Martha walk down the aisle. I could totally see it working. Future. The honeymoon phase and fairy tale turned tumultuous as they questioned their ability to sustain a long distance relationship. Over time, Martha and Michael chose love over location. At the end of the day, Michael would move anywhere for Martha. No matter what happened in this lifetime, we were going to meet and be together, Martha professed. Currently, they're going strong as a couple and are very active with Instagram photos displaying their beautiful selves and marriage. Michael promised that he would move to Sydney and made the move in 2020. After this big decision, Michael transitioned his career as a fitness instructor and quit his job as a primary school teacher. Martha continues to build her career as an Instagram influencer with over 600,000 followers and growing. Martha and Michael announced their engagement in December 2021 and intend to wed in 2022. Amani Alia and Woody Randall Amani and Woody were credited to be the best paired out of season 11. With a spark and immediate chemistry once they met, they actually knew each other growing up. This allowed them to bond over their upbringing, culture, and mutual friends. This couple took advantage of the process the right way. Always open and communicative, with each other, they remained committed to their relationship. Viewers loved watching their genuine and authentic connection, yet were realistic with inevitable tiffs and arguments they could always talk out. I can totally talk to you about it. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. They had to quarantine together when COVID-19 hit, bringing them closer as a couple. Recently, they celebrated their second wedding anniversary, along with expecting a baby in June. Aaliyah confessed to People magazine, We're so blessed to be able to embark on this journey of parenthood as we celebrate our second anniversary together. Katina and Olajuwon Being nervous on your wedding day, having cold feet, and feeling overwhelmed happens to the best of us. But Katina could barely focus on anything when she was about to marry Olajuwon. And I'm looking forward to starting this journey with you. The worst thing that could happen is us not get along, not being on the same page, she confessed. Terrified, she said, I do. His expectations for her to cook and clean cause tension, but at the same time, they're able to connect on a level that goes deeper than initially expected. K and O are believed to give their marriage a real shot. The reason people think it could work is because they feel very comfortable together, overcoming issues while sharing great chemistry together. Aaron Bateman and Bryce Mower Married since 2016, Bryce and Aaron went off without a hitch. What she loves about him is the fact that he is the same person as the first day she met him six years ago. They have kept a lower profile. Since the show, they prefer to keep the relationship more private. He stated, I'm sure it infuriates a lot of people that they're not kept in the loop because the nature of reality TV is you then go on to flaunt your whole life on social media. I don't think it's normal. Anthony D'Amico and Ashley Peta. Married since 2017, couple Ashley and Anthony hit it off the day they met, feeling as though they have known each other their whole life. Before meeting Anthony, she admitted she didn't see the social media experiment working out. The chances of this working are near impossible. I took a leap of faith. I could never imagine it turned out like it did. Once the initial excitement of being newlyweds faded, their first disagreement started when she didn't want to take his last name. To me, it's like a feminist thing. Like, why don't, how about you take my last name? She felt nervous towards his traditional ways and he felt un certain towards her liberal approach. Being able to overcome these opposing ideals, they continue to build a strong foundation as a couple. Their bond continues by sharing deep love for their daughters, stating, we never knew we could love someone so much. Elizabeth Bice and Jamie Thompson Couple Elizabeth and Jamie have been married since 2019. Known for their fights, many fans didn't think they would last. I'm so sick of this! But in the end, the chemistry was so strong. Regardless if it was making up or breaking up, it was passionate throughout. They both bonded over fashion, self-care face masks, and not wanting children of any kind in their radius. Elizabeth just wanted to be loved for who she was, and Jamie provided that for her. On their second wedding anniversary, Elizabeth posted, in a world full of uncertainties, you are my certainty, and I thank you for being my rock and my best friend every single day. Currently, they live together in Santa Barbara and are actually planning to have children together one day. AJ and Stephanie AJ loved what he saw from Stephanie's dress, her hair and her walk down the aisle towards him stating, I already could tell that we were connected. Once they got comfortable with each other, AJ displayed his off-putting behavior. Stephanie noticed how the smallest things would set AJ off, especially when he's hungry. People felt like AJ brought bad vibes and complained all the time. 
Short and snippy, she was worried about his mood swings, even embarrassed. He admits that he has issues controlling himself. She felt uncomfortable with his unpredictability. Stephanie was very stable. She put effort into bringing positive energy into the relationship, into the room, and everywhere she went. As a success story, AJ and Stephanie have been on spin-offs for MAF to maintain a successful marriage. AJ and Stephanie credit their counselor to help mediate marital issues. They bonded over their time together when they recently tested positive for COVID-19. AJ sure made quarantining with Stephanie fun and creative such as putting inflatable pools inside their home. Johnny and Carrie, going strong since the first day they met, considered the most successful couple of the Australian franchise, their love is undeniable. They both had the same traditional values, wanting a family, always imagining children. Johnny, there's never been a dull moment with you. Starting off as a social experiment, this was a true example of love at first sight. The couple admits the show put a lot of pressure on them, but despite this, the good outweighed the bad, and overall, being brought together was worth every aspect of their journey. Johnny and Carrie are together and still going strong in 2022. Olivia Fraser and Jackson Loney Olivia and Jackson started off strong, sharing similar morals and values. They both were 100% committed to making their marriage work, accepting each other's baggage prior to knowing each other. Yet, ironically, the first strain in their relationship had nothing to do with each other, rather Olivia's toxic association with fellow bride and cast member Dominica. Olivia and Dominica's drama caused a rift between the newlyweds. Jackson admitted that the social experiment exposed parts of Olivia that made him question everything about her and, most importantly, their marriage together. I'm not gonna keep kissing ass and apologizing. You can kiss everyone else's ass, but you don't have to kiss mine, I'll tell you right now. Over time, Jackson fell deeply in love with Olivia, putting effort into her feeling special. I will love you with my whole heart. I'm excited to see what the rest of our lives have in store for us. The couple still show up to MAFS reunions together. Olivia loved how different Jackson was compared to her past relationships. I get to be with Jackson, who is outrageously proud to be my husband on national television. It was the most loved I've ever felt by men in my entire life. Currently, the couple are excited to put forward a new chapter together. Recently moved in together and with baby fever, they look forward to starting their family sooner than later. Brianna and Vincent Known for their public display of affection, season 12's couple Vincent and Brianna are still together since meeting at the altar and more in love than ever. Vincent knew how to make Brianna feel special. He was sensitive and romantic. However, his sensitivity made it difficult for her at times. He often bottled up his emotions and shut down. Brianna had a hard time scoping him, and their communication issues took a hit when her smart mouth brought out Vincent's passive aggression, shutting her out entirely. Over time, Brianna put effort towards working on her tone and delivery, and Vincent learned how to be transparent with her. With help from relationship experts, they both learned how to balance working on their individual selves and how to respect each other's differences. Danielle Bergman and Bobby Dodd Danielle finally got her southern gentleman. Bobby was delighted to call Danielle his wife. Their genuine curiosity to know more about one another and talking about everything under the sun was refreshing to see. Bobby was traditional, but Danielle made it clear that her career was very important to her. And so whatever it is that you want to do, your goals, I want to help you meet those goals and expressed her dismay at the thought of staying with her kids every day. Bobby reconsidered his initial idea on how he imagined his wife should be, clarifying he did not want to push a 1950s marital construct on her. Danielle really respected his ability toward rewiring his traditional expectations. They had issues when it came to her impulsive spending habits, along with her $15,000 credit debt. Still, Bobby was adamant on accepting her in spite of his frugal mentality. She was much more spontaneous than him, but he actually appreciated how free-spirited she was. It was refreshing to him. She would foster puppies without telling him, leave him to be the one to clean up, but he knew that a happy wife is a happy life. Smart guy. His ability to evolve and change his viewpoint for the sake of accepting her is a huge reason as to why they worked out. Now, they share two children, and ironically, Danielle discovered her love for staying at home while Bobby is the breadwinner for the family. Deanna and Greg Marrying on season 9 of MAFS, a couple Deanna and Greg shared a special chemistry within their similar upbringings and faith-based values, starting off with a strong foundation already built. 
dealing with heartbreak he didn't cause, Deanna was single for 10 years prior to marrying Greg, bouncing from man to man with many toxic situationships. A hard adjustment for her, understandably, but it was almost like pulling teeth for Greg when he tried to get her to open up. Yet, he understood that time would eventually let her guard down. Greg's desire for romance and vulnerability seemed to freak her out. Perhaps she wasn't used to a man who wanted to know her inside and out, overwhelmed with her drastic life change from single to married. Greg understood this about her. His love for her was beyond his selfish desires. They have been together for over three years, sharing a son together. Jules Robinson and Cam Merchant Together for three years, couple Jules and Cam felt as though time stopped when they met at the altar. Their love was undeniable with dreams of a big family. They were able to open up and confide within each other, easily bonding from the start. Yeah, I'm mad about Cam. Cam would end up so emotionally invested in her pain, he would forget to consider himself. He is such a big heart, he's the most caring person I've ever met in my life. Another success story, they are the only couple to have stayed married from their season, sharing a child together. Today, they feel the same magic that they did on their wedding day, but with more comfort and understanding with each other on another level since their wedding in 2019. In 2022, they plan to try for another baby. Jessica and Austin Couple Jessica and Austin married during season 10 and have stayed strong for over two years. Their zest for life allowed them to not take themselves too seriously. They said the secret to their successful marriage is being yourself and having fun, but they take their commitment seriously by putting effort into good interactions for positive memories. This allowed their evolution in their dynamic to be a beautiful experience, promising that they would be with each other through thick and thin, accepting each other's quirks as perfect imperfections. Always excited about their future together, they recently welcomed a baby boy. Jamie and Doug Married since 2014, couple Jamie and Doug are the best success story of the franchise. I'm Doug. Oh, I'm <laughs> but they have had their fair shares of ups and downs in their marriage. Experiencing issues couples often do with intimacy, mental health, and trust. They are not ashamed to be an open book within their hurdles. Jamie experienced multiple miscarriages, but eventually gave birth. She opened up about her insecurities after having a child, saying, I don't feel sexy, I don't feel hot, I'm anxious, and I'm insecure. They were honest about their marriage being close to divorce due to her trust issues with him, accusing him of cheating, yet they refused to give up on each other. They gave credit to their therapist, helping them mediate their communication issues. Eventually, they decided to fight for their marriage rather than each other by putting effort into what initially had them fall in love in the first place. Always still working through their marital issues, now they live in Florida and plan to grow their family, currently sharing a daughter and a son. Which couples are your fave of all franchises? What do you predict for season 14? Let us know, comment down below, subscribe to The Things Reality, and hit the bell to keep up with all your favorite reality shows.